Hi guys, welcome back to another video in the series of Jenkins Automation. In today's video, we will be talking about how you can push your artifact to the JFrog repository using Jenkins declarative pipelines. We will be creating a new job and we'll discuss about all the steps that we are going to use in the declarative pipeline. Before moving ahead, I request you guys that if you have not subscribed my channel yet, please take a moment and do so. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So first of all, we'll go to our repository Jenkins Automation. You can find the link below. V3 Jenkins file is the file name because this is the 13th video. So easier for you to understand it. Let me zoom it a bit and let's understand the syntax. The pipelines, it starts from and we'll select the agent any. On tools, we'll select 3.6.3. .3. I hope you remember where it came from. Let's go to our Jenkins dashboard, manage Jenkins and go to global tool configuration. Once you click it, just scroll down a bit and you can see the Maven part. Click on Maven installation and you can see that I have mentioned it over here. So this is the same thing that I have been using over in Jenkins file. Come down on the stages part. The first stage is git checkout. In this, we have given our main because we are using the main branch. Credentials ID is something that I saved long back and URL is the URL for our repository. The next stage is clean and install. In this, we are using bat mvn clean install. Bat is because we are using a Windows machine. Similarly, in the other stage, we have package. We are just using mvn package and bat again for the Windows machine. Now, this is one of the best step that we have to understand. In that steps, we have RT server. You have to copy it exactly the same way because this is what a syntax is. In ID, you have given artifactory. Go to your Jenkins again. We'll tell you where this artifactory is coming from. So you cannot find it over here. What do you have to do? Go to your dashboard. And let's see what we did a few videos back. We go to manage plugin and we'll check what we installed a few videos back. Click on install. And if you'll scroll down a bit, you'll be able to see Artifactory plugin, which we installed. So once you have installed this, you have to go back to the Manage Jenkins part and on Configure System. It might take some time. Once it opens, uh, either you can scroll or do a Control F and type Artifact so that it appears over there. And you can see JFrog. This came from that plugin. Now here I have already created an instance. You just use the same details to create yours. This instance ID is what we are using in the Jenkins file, which is Artifactory over there. Click on Advanced and just scroll down a bit. You can see this HTTP localhost 8082 Artifactory. This is coming from the Artifactory that we installed. If you can see on the browser, it's the same address. You just have to copy that and have to paste it over here, adding an Artifactory after that. The rest other details are fine. Where is this username coming from? Go to your artifactory, go to your settings, in security, no and not in security, click on identity and access, and then you'll find the user. Either you can create a new user or you can existing, use an existing one. I'm using an existing one. The password is concealed, rest everything is fine, just save it. And that's what we are using it over here. Now, this is the same address that we have entered over there. So this is done. Username Ravish, which I gave. I'm not giving any password over here because this is public and you just have to enter your password. Next is the upload stage in which we'll be uploading the artifact, which is the war file. RT upload and the name of this server ID, which we already know, spec files. Now, what is the pattern? I'm giving dot war file asterisk because this has to be picked. I'm producing a file. Now target is something that you have to create on the artifactory. So you can give that over there, but have we created it till yet? No. So let's copy the first three things and go to our JFrog repository. Sorry, artifactory. Go on to your right and click on a quick setup. Select the Maven because we are doing Maven one and click on next and give the name over here, whatever we copied from there. And you can see this other things are created over here. Local repository, remote repository, and virtual repository with the same name that we gave. Create, 
once done you'd be able to see what is going on over here let's go back click on artifact tree and click on artifacts you can see with the same name that it has been created over here you can either click on it it might take some time to open uh, we won't wait for it we we'll just go back to our jenkins file and the next Next step is the publish build info in which you, we will use the same server ID which we have been using. So that's all for this. Now what you can do, you can just copy this and paste it in a notepad file somewhere. I have multiple screens so I have pasted it on some other file. And uh, yes, I have pasted it over here. You can paste it somewhere on the notepad file because we are going to create a new job. Now click on new item and we'll be creating a new pipeline. Click on pipeline. Uh, a good option is to copy from the existing one. So we don't remember the one which is already existing. So what we can do is we can go to the dashboard again and we can just copy this name and we'll add something out of it. So let's go inside, copy the name iWebApp with Jenkins file web UI, go to dashboard and click on the new item. Click on pipeline, paste the name over here and just add artifactory in front of it so that we can identify what we have created right now. Uh, we'll just remove E and add I. Yes, let's go down and we'll copy it from the one which we just copied the text. Great, so that we don't have to create it. Now click on OK. Now in order to identify it, we'll just do a minor change in the description. We'll just add it something. In this project, we'll write a Jenkins file here and push our artifact to JFrog. Artifact spelling is a bit wrong, so I'll just correct it. And yeah, and in Jenkins file, I'll just lowercase the f. Great. Let's go down and we can see that it has been copied from there. So whatever you copied from uh, Jenkins file, just paste it over here, whatever you saved. Now you can see the code is over here. Uh, let me just expand it so that you can see a bit better view. You can see that I'm not given the password because I don't want to make it public. You can enter your own password over here, apply and save. I'll just pause the video, save it so that it's not visible to you guys. And that's all you have to do. Click on build now, scroll down and you can see that the first build will be triggered. Click on it and it has started running. You can see started by my name. Let's go to console output to see whatever is happening. You can see that the stages are getting executed. It can take some time because it's running for the first time. Let's go back and you can see the pipeline view. And one by one, all the six, seven stages, whatever we have entered will come over here. Green means everything is perfect. From first step, declarative tool installed of MVN 3.6.3 till publish, it will come one by one. So let's wait for a while over here. You can see everything is great, green. Now what we can do is we can click on this artifact sign which you can see and it will redirect you to the JFrog. So let's just click over it. It can take some time. Once done, you'd be able to see the number of artifacts. We have just pushed one artifact, so number is one. Let's click on this module ID and you can see the war file which we created is over here which is ready to be distributed. What's the type? The type is a war file, a web archive file. And you can see the repo path. Now let's play around a bit and try to understand stuff. Let's click on artifact tree, go on artifacts. And you can see the snapshot local option. Just click on drop down, and you'll see the my web app war file is available. On to your right, it'll show you the general information. You can just copy this URL to file or you can just click over it. So let me click over this link. So once you're done, it'll ask for you the username and password. Username is again the same, which we gave in the Jenkins file. I'll give Ravish over here and the password. I have already done and let me click on sign in. And it has started downloading. You can just open it or save the file depending on your browser. Okay. Now, if you want to see the file, what you can do, you have copied it, paste it on browser and remove that war file and click enter, hit enter. You can see the web, my web app 
dot war file is available over here you can just copy the link or give the distribution and send a mail to developers that the artifact is available now so this is how easy it is and this is how it should be done so i think this is great over here so what we can do we can just go back to our web app and let's see this view in blue ocean as you already know that blue ocean it just beautifies it so we'll see the beautiful view of our great pipeline just click on it and you can see from git checkout till publish build info every step is green and executed beautifully so that's how it works guys i hope you have understood it if you have not and have any doubt please feel free to comment below so people can argue that why we are not talking about the versioning thing yes we can talk about the versioning thing in jfrog and it's a great topic but it is out of scope of this course so thanks guys and i'll see you in the next video